Uh, if I if I may, I want to. Uh, you mentioned something, uh, you know. Uh, I think you were talking about like records, and I think a lot of producers we all go through this, man. It's like, you know, those placements that haven't been released. Uh, I think we all got a bunch of those. Whether if it's like, you know, the top tier artists or just some of the artists that's just signed, that just newly signed to labels or just been signed and they just haven't had a big big break. Um, and and it's important for like you say patience like that's that's key is, is staying patient and uh and just trying to find other things to do and plant other seeds so that whenever that time comes you know that that it, it's just icing on the cake but not putting your time and focus in on this one thing like i have to get this placement they have to put the record out you know and if you're that adamant about it and you got to find creative ways to get them to put the record out uh for the k camp blessing i don't you know, and I don't want to take full credit for him putting it out, but I, when we first did the record, uh, you know, I don't think he really had much of like, he wasn't really, vi I mean, he liked it, but I don't think it was enough to where he was like, yo, this is the one. It wasn't that, you know, uh, it was the last song on his album in due time. And I think that that was purposely done. It was just kind of like, you know, put that on the end and, and it ended up being, you know, something like a classic to where people was like, no, we actually feel that record. Um, but I would text him. I would remind him. I would, yo, put the record out. You know, I'm a, right now, shoot, I got a record with Rick Ross. It's not released. You know, it's supposed to go on Self Made 4. I'm sorry if I'm putting too much info out, but I need everybody to jump in Rick Ross DM and messages and say, yo, put the track out called Concrete Jungle. What's up with that? You know, put that out. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Biggest Boss. Um, we're going to we need, need that. <laughs> Um, if you're, if you're listening, but to my point, to my point, you got to be patient with things like that. But if you don't, if you do want to focus on that, find creative ways to get people to to jump on, you know, to do what you want them to do. And I and you know, I like I like when producers like they post beats and they tag the artist and they tell their followers to go go tell her, you know, she sounds she would Cardi would sound good on this track. I love like especially in TikTok. And you got a lot of artists that sometimes responds to that. Like, yo, I keep hearing people jump in my DM about this beat or this record, you know, and just finding new ways to market yourself and just reinvent yourself as a creator, as a producer, artist. Uh, I think it's very important when you're dealing with the patience part of it and waiting, you know, uh, make it happen, manifest it, and, you know, and, 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 and bring attention to yourself. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if that's off topic completely, but I was, you know, you. No, you know, I, was, I love that, and I appreciate you saying all those things. It's just like there's there's a fine line between persistence and um, annoying, I guess. But it's also like you have a dream and you need to chase it and you need to stay on top of it because sometimes you don't have a team to do that for you. 